I'm Erin, the Two Martini Stitcher here on YouTube and Instagram, and this is my channel about cross stitch and knitting and crafty things, and we're here today for a short little video. I've been doing daily Flossmas videos in December, and so I'm back for Flossmas Day 16. Day 16. So, uh, yeah, just going to come back and show you what I worked on, open some advents. I have a little bit of uh, Happy Mail stash stuff I ordered come in and we'll do a giveaway. So cheers. Today's cocktail is actually a nice crisp little rosé, uh, Rafino. And sometimes rosés are a little too sweet for me, but this is nice and crisp with just a little bit of little bit of strawberry and I don't know pink pink sparkling wine that feels like holiday to me feels like holiday to me okay so let's see so what did I work on yesterday uh, I did put another hundred stitches into hello dear I didn't bring it over to show because uh, I'll keep working on that a little bit every day and I'll show it again in another couple days but I I've cracked into the tree I'm working my way down the tree so was working on that for whip wranglers and then for 12 days of christmas stitching i was on my second day of working on holiday quaker by lila studio and i will show you where i got to on that i did manage to finish out this whole little motif so oh, let's see i thought i thought it was i don't know something sticking to the fabric so there we go so that motif is all done, finished out the border and a little bit of swirly at the bottom. I had a little more time and so I thought I might come up here and work on, there's like another little yellow kind of snowflakey looking thing. But it was actually kind of big and I thought if I start that I'm not, I'm not gonna finish it. <laughs> and so I won't start it and I'll do some knitting instead. So there's where I got to on Holiday Quaker. So it was fun to touch that. This is one of those projects that's just not, it's big, it's big, it's, it's involved. And I'm not worried about when I finish it. I'm just gonna pick away at it until it's done. I love these birds though here. Love these birds. Santa's legs, little village. Good, so good, good stuff, good stuff. So after I finished that motif, I did move over to doing some knitting and I worked on my socks some more and I finished the foot. So there it is. That's by my measurements. This is as long as my, as the foot should be to fit me. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm just going on faith. Once I get these on, uh, the longer needles, the longer circular needles, I'll be able to try it on and double check and make sure that that's the right size. With the nine inch needles, I can't really quite get my foot in there. <laughs> my foot's too big. So, but there we go. So now I'm all ready as soon as the other uh, nine inch circulars come. They should be here on uh, Thursday. So once those come, I can move along, but I have this one done all the way up to the foot. I have this toe done. <laughs> so when another circulars come, then we'll switch. And I'm trying to decide, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get the foot done all the way on this, and then I'll do heel heel. I think that's my plan. So, so that's socks. And now if I have a little knitting time, I'll go back to the cowl I showed you yesterday. So that's knitting plans, uh, stitching plans. Yesterday for 12 days of Christmas stitching, I spun Sing a Sampler. So this is Sing a Sampler by Silver Creek, um, by Silver Creek Samplers. There's four of them. Uh, I am not doing this colorway. Jan Hicks has a color conversion on her website. I will link it below. 
that she did based on somebody else's. She has a picture of theirs and credits them. I then followed kind of Jan Hicks's conversion and I'm gonna do these four by four. So it, it shows that you can either do them individually as ornaments or as one long piece, but I'm gonna do four and four. And the, as you'll see, the Jan Hicks color conversion is uh, a lot brighter, a lot brighter. So I figured I'd just show you where I was. This is on mm, Vintage Smoky White, a 32 count Vintage Smoky White, and this is where I am. So I have not quite finished dough, dough a deer, but I think I just have the deer and the little flowers to do. So, and um, there's a couple little do duty dad things. A couple little duty dads, the deer and the flowers. So um, you can see, and then this is the color palette for it. Like this is kind of the main, the main frames that go around. So it's gonna be like more rainbow colored. It's really, really good. And I'll have all, all the information for floss because I have these main floss colors that I kind of went, I used Jan's as inspiration. Some of them are the same. Uh, this, these are kind of the main colors and then I'm just kind of picking randomly from my stash, as you can see, for all the little things on the inside. So, like, I think that's going to be the little flowers. Uh, what is this? Bambino. But I thought it was fun because it's a bunch of different colors. Um, yeah. So, kind of just picking and choosing as I go. But that's Sing a Sampler. I'm really excited to get this back out for two days. So this is gonna get uh, today and tomorrow, and then and then we'll and then we'll move on to something else for 12 days of Christmas stitching. And then for Whip Wranglers, every time I forget to mute. Okay. And then for Whip Wranglers, uh, when I finished up Hello Dear, I spun. Uh, or rolled, I rolled for my next whip for whip Wranglers and came up with Summer at Cherry Hill. And I'm pretty sure, let's look, but I am almost certain that I only worked on this the one day of Mania and I'm so excited to get it back out again. Yep, 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 yep. Only worked on this one day. So I'll show you where I am. And the fabric tag's in here somewhere. Okay. So I'm doing this on 32 count cherry pit brown linen with called for colors, except uh, I subbed out whatever the, this red color was, which I can't remember. It might've been, I think it was chili pepper. I subbed out this red since I have more of a purplish fabric. I subbed it out for Briar Rose, uh, Gentle Arts Briar Rose. So this is where I am so far. <laughs> I have a few letters. That's it. So I'm really excited to get back to this and um, maybe do some more letters and start on maybe start on some border. I don't know. So Summer at Cherry Hill. And I rolled this for max stitches too, 300 stitches. Um, max stitches for the level I'm doing. So, so it'll get, you know, more than like 50, 100 stitches. It'll get, it'll get a decent, it'll get a decent day's work on it. So that is stitching and knitting planned. Wanna see what came in the mail today? It's one of my favorite packages that I get every month. Um, my so much to love bag came for December. Oh, please, I dropped something important. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm reaching for my bag. Okay, so I'm in the So Much to Love Bag of the Month Club. I will link her Etsy shop below because she always has uh, ready to ship bags. I mean, it's getting close to the holidays, so some I know some shops are going on 
like a break. But I I will link uh, so much to love below because they're just they're just some of my favorite bags. And every month, along with the bag, you get some little goodies. She does a fun little package. Uh, so I'll show you the goodies and then I'll show you the bag. The first thing is stash tea. She always sends some tea, and you all know I love tea. This is Christmas in Paris, which I've never tried. And she sent this saying, you know, if he, we can we can have some tea and pretend that we're in Paris, like we can travel. So that was lovely. Some little peppermint candies. I wonder if they're like buttermints. I love buttermints. They remind me of Sorority Rush for some reason. She also sent some 26 size 26 bow and needles, which are some of my favorites. I use the 26 and the 28s all the time. So that's very exciting. And this month we got an exclusive chart from Hands On Design. I just, oh, I love it. Look at that. Bottle Brush Tree Farm Cut Fresh. Isn't that fantastic? And come right there. We even got the little bit of ribbon to do this little kind of taggy finish, pillow finish. So cute. And so now, of course, I want to start this immediately, too. There's so many things. There's so many small little things I want to start that I may just still go on a starting frenzy between Christmas and New Year's. We'll see. All right, are you ready for the bag? So good. It's so good. Boom. I love it because it's like wintry. I mean, yes, there's trees on it and presents and but snowman, but it seems so wintry. Isn't that so pretty? And then the back is the trucks and the tree farm. It goes perfect with the design and then the inside is stockings. So now I'm trying to decide what is going to go in here. I don't know what's going to go in here. Maybe Christmas tree of magic. Maybe I have a couple other new starts coming for 12 days of Christmas stitching. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up going, uh, going in this bag because I definitely have more holiday stitching than I have holiday bags. <laughs> so I thought since I got my so much to love bag of the month that that would be the perfect shop to highlight for the giveaway today because I love being in the bag of the month club. I'm signed up for next year again and one of the most fun things is seeing what little like goodies Karen puts in there. She's so clever about theming everything together and so I thought I would give away a couple of the exclusive things I got this year in my so much to love bag of the month. So I found two things that I just love and think are adorable that I want to pass on uh, and they'll come together to one person. And the first one is this little fall chart and this is Karen's own design and it matched that fall bag. This little chickadee was on that fall bag. It matched perfectly. But how cute is that? The little acorn love that and then also this adorable little thread keep that says hoppy stitching and it's got her so much to love on the end so it's like a little a little thread drop you could even use it as a zipper pull so cute so this is the giveaway today and uh i want you to say use the word fall Fall will be the keyword for today. So if you want to be entered to win these little, two little, uh, what is, what is uh, Michelle call them? Dekines? Uh, from So Much to Love, then you're going to use the word fall. Just, is fall your favorite season? Are you glad fall is over? Use the word fall. Make sure you have filled out the happy mail form in the description box below. Please be 18. Be lovely if you were a subscriber and don't say giveaway. So that is, I'll ship anywhere. So I don't, I don't care where you are. I'm going to ship anywhere in the world because I won't be pulling winners and shipping out until after Christmas. So hopefully the little mail situation will clear up a little bit and then I'll get things out to you. So that's a giveaway today. Are you ready to open some advents? I'm really ready to, to see what's in these today. Okay. So the first one is David's tea. We drank the peach today. 
that I opened the other day and did it iced. So good. It was so good. Okay. But today is day 16. Let's see what we've got here. Today is forever frosty. Ooh, definitely a little bit of like sugar or, oh, it looks like little marshmallows. Are those little marshmallows? That's, that's fun. That's really fun. Oh, and I can, I can actually open it. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it smells like cinnamony. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be good. Forever frosty. Okay. Uh, next up is yarn advent from Daydream Dye Works. I haven't even balled up yesterday's yet, so I'm going to have to ball up two. So this is day number 16. Oh, 16. Let's see what the color is today. Yesterday was all those like pretty blues, like light, bright blues. So let's see what today is. Oh, some like darker blue. Oh, oh, with even a little punch of like red and berry. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That's really nice kind of almost to like a grayish green. I love this, that color right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because see, here's yesterday, I didn't even ball it up yet. Look at that. Very cool. All right. I need to get balling up on those. And then Black Needle Society, we've had like three like killer days from Black Needle Society with the pattern and fabric and floss. So let's see what today is because it's another big squishy one. I never know what these big squishy ones are. So, in pretty bag, with a pretty tag. So, let's see what is in day 16. I should bring scissors over. Good thing I have brute strength. I just muscle it open. Do you all open your gifts like super neat and nice, or do you just kind of. Oh, oh, cool. What is it? What is this? Is it a scarf? I was going to guess t-shirt, but I keep guessing t-shirt and it keeps not being a t-shirt. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Sorry. For... Oh, that is so, it is soft. And it's houndstooth. I love houndstooth. Oh my God, you can just see so good. Is it... Oh, pretty. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to scratch off. This scarf is perfect to wear yourself or to accessorize your snowman. This is too nice to give a snowman. Look, it's got pretty tassels on the end. Um, I love a long scarf like this that you can just kind of wrap around and around. Um, oh, that's so pretty. So pretty and it's so soft too. I love it. Love it, love it. Yeah, no, no snowman, this is for me. So that's it. That's all I have for today. So I'm going to get stitching on a Sing a Sampler and Summer at Cherry Hill. And I will be back tomorrow to show you where I got to and open some more advents and do some more giveaway. Until then, cheers.